five, they'd always be battle now. Man, I so. can imagine so. But yeah. if if we were to have those two fight, I'm pretty sure me and you, me and you, I don't even live in Tucson, but I already know exactly which one of the two would win. Yeah, oh yeah, so. for sure, yeah. for sure. But it's not about that. Yeah. It's about Eki Dota and Jake right now. Game number one. Let's get this started. Okay, Got Eki it. getting a nice little fifty percent already. And now you know oh, the double parry. Okay. And now you juice. You know, I'm pretty sure you know Eki better than like me or, or uh, Taco would. Right. So um, I don't know if y'all got like V fits out there in Tucson, but uh, how well do you think Eki uh, would do in this matchup? Well, see, the thing is, Eki and uh, Jinx have played multiple times. You know, over the course of some Tucson locals, some Tucson monthlies, and Ascension. So you know, they have plenty of time versus each other. I think uh, I would say that Eki sometimes has the upper hand. Uh, but it honestly just comes down to, you know, who's the better player at the end of the day for this specific, you know, that specific day. Um, and right now we're seeing Eki. Eki's really good at converting her uh, combos. So really if, she's, if she's on top of her combos, she she can easily take this match. Definitely caught Jinx sleeping at the wheel with that uh, explosive flame. Yeah, so he, so far Eki Dona's going into this game uh, very, very calculated, I feel. I feel like she knows... Uh, just so far, at least from what I'm seeing, that she knows everything that she needs to land and where and when. Right. Yeah. Uh, so far, no, like, you know, superfluous moves, no real, like, uh, just whiffing around, like, just trying to bait in something. For the most part, it really just seems to be, like, uh, you know, like, wait for, like, those options uh -huh. to come out and then just, like, punish them for the most yep. part. Yeah. Bait and punish sort of thing. Oh, no, most definitely. That's, uh, that's kind of where Eki and Palu, like, make the perfect, you know, connection from player to character. You know, she knows how to get her conversion. She knows how to make Palu flow perfectly. And she knows how to keep WeFit, as we see, at bay. You know, WeFit's win condition is that breathing technique, right? So if Eki knows, don't let WeFit get breathing technique. She goes to just count Jinx down as much as she can. Absolutely, right. absolutely. Right, there goes a signature Jinx move right there. The back air out of shield. It's a damn quick one, and it's going to be a damn good option for taking the first stock on Jinx's side. But is it going to be too little too late for the first game? It's possible, but I wouldn't discount uh, Jinx's ability to bring back these sorts of situations yeah. right away. Yeah. Honestly, this could just be like the data collecting. You know, maybe just trying to get like the feel on how Eki Dona is playing right yeah. now at this moment. And then try and adapt around that. You know, right. so exactly. What is Eki hitting? Like, what is she? What is she hitting? What is she not hitting? Like, where is she weak? Where is she strongest at? Right. And you know, make up a game plan from there. Right. Like the biggest thing we're seeing here is Eki's been getting a lot of kills on uh, Jinx with that uh, explosive flame. So I feel like that's Jinx's uh, way of. Oh, okay. Gets the gets the rebound on the soccer ball to the uh, ledge right there. Yeah. But Eki right there, already knowing oh. what Jinx is gonna do. Taking game one with a solid two uh, two stock. Oh, oh, Jinx is going to go ahead and signal. We're going to just run it right back. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. And again, this might like, this might also be the thing. Uh, maybe Jinx is like, okay, well, I got a plan, so let me just go ahead and run it right back. And I'm gonna, now I'm going to execute this plan and see how you react. Right, right. Uh, you know, a funny thing is I've seen, most of the time that I've seen these two play each other, it's been game fives over and over and over again. Right. I don't think I've missed, I don't think I've ever seen a set that didn't go game five between these two. So we're in for some, we're in for some good games. That's all oh, I got to yeah, say. Yeah, that, that's something super important to drive home is just the, the familiarity between these two. Yeah. Uh, not just in the set count, but just like uh, and what they know about each other and how they work. And they don't really, like, I mean, I know like Jinx has a beach. And I'm sure somewhere in there, Egedona has like some sort of like rarely seen counter pick, but it's gonna be Palutena Weaver. I really don't see anything changing that. Yeah. And uh, they they know both of these two characters very well. So. Right now, uh, be aware that Jinx Jinx does have a Peach. Right. And a Wolf. And hey, I'm man. pretty sure that Jinx my, my homie has Jinx a, uh, has every one of those. Man, he also has a Falco. So I'm sure. Right. I've seen I've seen all of them come out, bro. <laughs> I don't know if uh, Jinx would be willing to pull any of these characters out on oh, Eki. Yeah. You know, depending on when. It might, like you said, it might just be like all we Whoa! Golly! I mean, that if you're hitting pretty stuff metal. like that, maybe there's no reason to switch. <laughs> that so, was pretty yeah. metal. No, Jinx does that. not have a reason when uh, he's getting spikes like that. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But right now, uh, Eki, or, uh, Jinx is uh, definitely doing a pretty good job on uh, trying to stay alive. Wow. Back throw. I We're really want to compliment Eki on that uh, ledge interaction right there. She did not freak out whatsoever. She did not get greedy. She just waited for Jinx to throw out all his resources right there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, down throw. Give me my damage. Yeah. Never mind. I'm yeah. not going to hit these. <laughs> I think that was, oh, okay, Man. just gets the huge down air read on the jump. 
Nothing uh, to convert out of that, though. But, you know, 48%, nothing to scoff at. That breathing technique can kill at 48%. Yep. Oh, my God, man. Just got to be careful, you know, make sure that Jinx doesn't get that. But uh, uh, Ekidona is definitely going to go ahead and get that back here and secure that stock. But, I mean, even still, you're not really out of the woods yet. 48%, but we still got deep breathing on deck, so we got to be careful. Yep. All right. Nice okay. there to back air. Yeah, Heki is still just coming out with that consistency, man. Just coming in with that down throw into yeah. back air. That's Very exactly what she needs to land, so that's just what she's going to land. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trying to set up for that again, potentially. But Jinx is ready with that parry punish. It's going to be a four throw. Tries to fall with that side for additional pressure. We kind of saw the same attempt at that uh, sort of spike yep. slash edge guard type of dealio going on there. But now it's going to be Eki Dona control the stage. Yep. Down tilt, catching the wall jump into a back air is exactly what Eki Dona needs to punch in on a second stock. Right. And, and now she's on her way to a last one here. We got yep. a couple of near strings coming together. Up air is going to take it one step higher. The 50% damage combo. Man. You know what's crazy, man? You were mentioning that uh, side B taking the first uh, stock on Eki with that spike. Right. Eki purposely delayed her uh, her up B to go just a little below so that it didn't get she didn't get hit by it. Just it, it, because it almost, of that, Eki has made it to the point where she is now two stocks ahead of Jinx exactly. and put, her, put Jinx at 93%. And it's game one. Yes. So it, it honestly might have literally just come down to her being like, oh, yeah, that ish exists, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> literally get hit by it again. It's literally down to the fact that it's just like you kind of see how one interaction can, you know, decide who wins a match in these PR battles, right? That, that's really Absolutely. what it comes down to here. And that's kind of what we're seeing here as Jinx, you know, still on that last stock, 111%. And that nope. forward tilt from, eh, let's call center stage, is going to take it. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's really not going to matter. We're going to go ahead and get that back air and secure another yeah. game. Thank you, said, you got a forward tilt. I got a back air. Exactly. <laughs> Mine's invincible. So right. let's see, let's yeah. see which, one, which one really matters. Yeah, let's see what, let's see what that gets you. All right. So we are once again in a situation where one of our players is down 2-0. Yep. So let's yep. see if uh, you got the same factor that Jumbo Jack had. Those are quick oh, games, too. Jinx bringing out the Peach. Whoa. I'm actually not too uh, knowledgeable about how this matchup goes. I feel like Palutena can get out framed, but she absolutely can. I feel, like Jin uh, I feel like Peach does not have the same disjoints as uh, Palu. So this could kind of go, well, obviously it can go either direction, but Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It all um, depends on like how solid the uh, the Peach is playing currently right now. I have no clue if Jinx has played any Peach uh, at all the entirety of this day. Oh, yeah. Throughout uh, yeah. the tournament, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Yeah, he's been playing a little bit of Peach throughout the tournament. I okay. saw his Peach come out uh, against uh, Baloney, another uh, Tucson local. Uh -huh. But yeah. I do not know if uh, Ekidona has any uh, experience against Peach. I I wouldn't know either, honestly. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, if you don't know and you're from you're from the same region, then I guess I got not. Oh nothing. my God! But you know what? I guess that really don't matter. <laughs> yeah, that would have hit any one of the cast. Like, yeah. Eddie Donor just not right? to get them. If you're not gonna pay attention, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it. Like, you know, that's it. Yeah. I really like how uh, Eki took that first stock, though. She faked out, going low, waited for the jump from uh, Jinx, went high again with her jump, and then got the kill with the forward air. So, yep. ooh, you gotta be careful where it is. Just, the, just those little mind game interactions have uh, led Eki again. Way. Yeah, led Eki again to now having a 73% lead on her. 102% lead on her uh, her stock. I heard like the guilty gear counter. <laughs> counter. Counter. Oh, Wait, no oh, way. No. That is going to be the footstool. That is a footstool. Eki uh, seeming pretty dominant right now. Extremely unfortunate for Jinx and the Jinx fan base alike. She's definitely in shambles right now. You hate to see it, but, hey, but you like to fair. see it before, Dave. You do like to see that fair, though. That fair is something else. Okay. Oh, I did not know Palutena could nair out of that combo. Okay, the smack. Yeah, you gotta know, Paul Tannen can nair out of anything. <laughs> Any damn thing in this game. Any damn thing. Good back there, reading the roll. Now we're getting there. Building all this damage. Okay, Jinx missing the pivot grab right there. Gets the dash attack, though. Nice, That's bro. Okay, nice back air out of shield. Okay, let me get another. Oh, oh this is the grab. Absolutely such an Grabs the shield win. and not the body. Yep. Man, I'll never understand that, to be honest. <laughs> okay, good uh, spot dodge on Jinx's part. Gets the back throw. Can't really do much from ledge right there. Ooh, now you're juggling. Now you are yeah. in the air. You got to do something. 
That's just looking. Yeah, I feel like this is a very difficult. Uh, yo, at the side beat, yeah. gonna take it. Eki with a dominant 3 0 over Jinx. Yeah. And that's going to be game, but set, and match. Oh, yeah. my. And Jinx is gonna go ahead and uh, grab that second.